Hey folks, I'm Jennifer Lau, a Master Gardener here at English Gardens. Have you ever seen a beautiful spider plant? This lovely will absolutely flourish if you keep just two things in mind. You want to place it near a very bright window and let it go very dry between waterings. Simple needs here. I do adore the look of this girl. It's elegant draping leaves and the variegated part of it, I mean, it really brightens up a space. And when it starts to drop these little baby plants, I think it's such a neat look. Now, you have to be patient with these babies if you want to give some away. These little nubby roots here, they need to get a little more developed, maybe two inches long. Then you can just cut them off from the stem and place them in their own pot. Now, it won't grow babies like this constantly, and there really is no schedule. So either enjoy the surprise look, or if it's too dangly for you, sometimes it is, just snip them off. There's no harm done. Listen, a nice bonus I want to tell you about is how very effective the spider plant is at purifying some of our most common indoor contaminants. And it's just easy. Brightness, maybe a little light fertilizing every spring and summer. Make sure it's dry a third of the way down before you ever water. Oh, you know, one little tip. Make sure you use bottled water to flush out the fluoride found in our tap water once in a while. Some plants are kind of sensitive to this. You will start to see their leaf tips turn a little brown when they do but it's not a big deal. Just give it some distilled water a couple of times a year or put it outside during a nice summer rainfall. It'll flush any of that build out right out. Now, a heat vent will also cause the brown tips once in a while if it's blowing right on it. So if that's the case, just remember to mist it kind of regularly during the winter and that problem will just also go away. I keep telling you, you could do this. Come on in, let us help you make gardening easy and go and make life beautiful.